ang Diyos na ito. Ang gusto lang ng Diyos sa iyo, sundin mo siya. And you can deeply know Him by reading the Bible and by listening to the words of God. Because the Bible says, He who obeys my words will never see death, but he will have eternal life. Now, what's the nature of Abraham's faith? Let's go to the next. He displayed the confidence that he and Isaac would return. He believes that. That once they reach Mount Horeb, he and his son will go back home because he knew that God will make a way. Genesis chapter 22 verse 5 says, He said to his servant, Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back. Napasin ninyo? Sinabi ka agad ni Abraham, Sasamba lang kami doon, then babalik kami. He declared that. Anong ibig kong sabihin ngayon dito? Sundin mo si Lord sa buhay mo. May mangyayari. Yung sa tingin mo'y mawawala, babalik sa'yo. Yung sa tingin mo ay parang wala ng pag-asa, mangyayari muli yan sa buhay mo. Basta. Sabi natin, basta. Basta. Yung nawala mong lakas, babalik. Yung sa tingin mo'y mawawalang kayamanan, hindi yan mawawala. Babalik uli. Sundin mo lamang. Pag nagkamali, huminto. Atras, balik. Kung tayo po'y nagkamali, walang masamang sa pagsasalita ng I'm sorry. Kung tayo ay nagkamali, huwag yung sasabihin na bahala na, nagkamali na nga eh. Mas masaya ang buhay ng taong mapagpakumbaba kaysa ma-pride. Ang daming napapahama ngayon because of pride. There are so many people being destroyed because of being prideful. Masyadong mapagmataas. The one who really fears God always build, always having Humility always had the character of saying sorry. Pag nagkamali, hingi ng tawad. Tama? Hindi pinapalakpakan ang mayabang. Ang pinapupurihan at may premyo yung mapagpakumbaba. The humble person, the Bible says, will be exalted. And the humble will possess the land and enjoy prosperity and peace. Do you want to prosper? Remain humble. In the Bible, lahat ng nagmataas pinagsak. Lahat ng nagpapakumbaba itinataas. Pili, anong gusto? Pagsak, O pataas. Yes, the more you humble, the more God will raise you up. That's the nature of the Lord. Another thing, the nature of Abraham, he believes that God will supply what he needs. He believed that. That's why he said the word, God will provide. So, anong dapat nating gawin? What we're going to do in this life, be assured of your faith in God. If you want to live victoriously, siguraduhin ninyo na kayo ay mayroong pananampalataya sa ating Panginoon. Because Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, It is impossible to please God without faith. Number two, expect trials if you believe. Why? 
Lahat ng tao may pananampalataya, dadaan pa rin sa pagsubok. Pero lahat ng pagsubok na yan ay napagtatagumpayan dahil hinahangaan ng Diyos ang may pananampalataya sa Kanya. Ibig sabihin niyan, hinakasihan ng Diyos ang may pananalig sa Kanya. Sabi mo sa katabi, have in God. Parang mahina. Tulog ba yan? Tulog ba yan? Sabi sa katabi, have faith in God. Bigyan mo siya ng high five. high five. Come on, have faith in God. Come on. High five. Have faith in God. Amen? Okay. Then, sabi mo sa kanya, I have faith in God. Bigyan mo naman siya ng peace of them. I have faith in God. <laughs> Amen? Yes! Yes, the faith we receive as a gift must mature with good works. Ngayon, where is your faith? You need to show it by your good works. You have faith pero mayabang ka. You have faith pero tamad ka. You have faith that you will prosper but you are very, very lazy. You have faith that you will be healed but like ka, you don't worship the Lord and you don't trust His Word. It must be with work. You have faith in the Lord that you will have a great success in your business. You need to work. Dahil sa Bible, hindi pinupuri ng Diyos ang taong tamad, kundi kinukondem ang taong tamad. So Abraham became prosperous because he is very industrious. He is very, very obedient to the word. Ako naniniwala ng taong may panampalatay sa Diyos. Sinasabing, Lord, I need you. You are my strength. You are my hope. You are my life. Then God will be very, very happy to bless that person. And I believe, ikaw yon. Sino yon? Hallelujah. Sino yon? That's you. Praise God. And what you have today, even though it's very little, if you have faith in God, that small amount that you have can turn into thousands, turn into millions, turn into big beyond your thinking, beyond your expectation. That is faith. So I believe that the words of God is always alive and active and it will go going to happen to everyone who trusts in Him. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Since faith is a gift to those who are willing to accept God as its source. Furthermore, this free gift that we receive must be worked out to grow to its fullest. Hayan mo na mag-grow, mag-work out, at mag-grow ang lahat ng iyong panampalatay na yan. Hayan mo na si Lord lang ang maging number one. Yes? Are you with me today? Are you there? Okay, question. Is Jesus already in your heart? If Jesus is already in you, then that means you accepted Him already as your Lord and personal Savior. Then, you have faith in the Lord. Mayroong kampanan ng palataya sa Panginoon. Pero kung ngayon mo lang na ito narinig, sabi ng Panginoon, if you are willing and obedient to accept my word, then my words will come to pass in you. But remember this word today before we pray. I know you have faith. Can I see the hands of those people who have faith in God? 
Thank you. Now you have faith, but the Lord God said is this. My ear is not dull to hear you. My hands is not short to reach you. But your sin covers my face. That's why I cannot hear you. Tagalogin natin. Hindi ako bingi para pakinggan ka. Ni hindi rin maikli yung kamay ko para abutin ka at tulungan ka. Ang kasalanan mo ang nakaabang sa aking mukha. Kaya hindi kita marinig at makita. Isuko natin ating buhay sa Panginoon. Let us surrender our lives to the Lord. I found out ang buhay na nakahandog sa Diyos ay buhay na matagumpay. Listen to this. Hindi mapapasama ang taong sumusunod sa Diyos at tapat sa kanyang salita. Hindi mapapasama ang tao na tapat sa Diyos at sa kanyang mga salita. Pangalawa, ang taong hindi nananampalatay sa Diyos ay sinasakta nila ang kanilang sarili. A person who, do, who, don't, who doesn't believe in God hurting themselves sinasaktan nila ang kanilang sarili. Pero ang tao na may pananampalatay sa Diyos, they love God and they love themselves and they bless themselves. Do you have faith in God? That means you are not hurting yourself. The reason why I say this word, it is because God can only move and work in your life if you have that faith. Again, it is impossible to please God without faith. So if you have no faith, you are hurting yourself because you are not considering the guidance and protection of the Lord. You are unprotected by the hands of God if you have no faith in Him. But if you have faith in the Lord, hallelujah, you are well blessed, protected by the living God. In other words, ang taong lalayo sa Diyos ay katulad ng isang manok na lumayo sa patuka. Alam niyo yun? A person who don't want to be closer with God is like a chicken who don't want the patuka. Hindi ko alam yung patuka sa English eh. Yun na yun. Nakaintindihan tayo? Ang malagay naintindihan ninyo. Okay. Now, sino dito ang in love kay Lord? Hallelujah. You love God and you love yourself. If you are not in love with God, you are hurting yourself. And the last word, ang taong may salita ng Diyos Oh, ang taong walang salita ng Diyos ay walang future. Ulitin nyo. Walang future. A person who has no word of God has no future at all. Why? Because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and through the words of God everything has been created. Is being created. So if you have no words of God, you have no future. Why? The words of God is the one making you blessed.
at ang words of God ang magdadala sa iyo sa buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya may future ang buhay ng taong may pananalig sa Diyos at may salita ng Diyos. You have future because you have God and you have the words of God. Surrender your life to the Lord today and make Jesus as your Lord and Master and say, Lord, here I am. I need you. The song says, I need you, Lord. You're my heart's desire. Your spirit in me makes my life a place. Let the fire of God in me declares the move of God. The power of God in me I cannot contain. I have to share the fire of God in me. Shall we all arise, please? Tumayo tayong lahat. Sabi niyo, Lord, kailangan ko po kayo. I need you, Lord. You're my heart's desire. The Spirit in me makes my life a place. Let the fire of God in me declare the move of God. The fire of God in me, I cannot contain. I have to share the fire of God in me. Every day I walk in the path of life. You buy me hands, O Lord, is the guide of my life. Strengthen my spirit to glorify your name. Fill me with your One more time, say it. I need you, I need you, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. You're my heart's desire. Your spirit in me makes my life a place. can only enter your life 
if you will accept Jesus Christ in your heart as your Lord and personal Savior. Totoo ang Banal Espiritu Santo. Totoo ang Diyos. Mananahan lang ang Diyos sa buhay natin pag tayo po'y nagpakumbaba at humingi ng tawad sa Kanya. You understand? Are you there to humble yourself before God? Shall we bow down our head and close our eyes? Put your hands on your chest right now. Come on. Put your hands on your heart and say this prayer, Lord. 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 I love you. I love you. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in your words. I believe in your words. Forgive me, O God. Forgive me, O God. For all the sins that I have done. For all the sins that I have done. Yes, I accept it. Yes, that I am a sinner. That I am a sinner. But because of your compassion compassion and love for me and love for me you died on the cross you died on the cross and you shed your blood and you shed your blood forgive me forgive for all the sins that i have done for all the sins that i have lord lord i receive now your forgiveness i receive now your forgiveness by faith by faith i'm now forgiven i'm now forgiven come into my heart come into my heart as my lord as my lord and personal savior personal savior thank you lord for the eternal life for the eternal life write my name write my name in the book of life in the book of life thank you lord thank you lord for the eternal life for the eternal in jesus name in jesus name i long to pray ko na lang mananalangin panginoon narinig mo po kung paano ka tanggapin ng mga anak mo Panatiliin niyo po Diyos na kasulat ang pangalan nila sa aklat ng buhay sa langit. I-bless niyo po ang buhay nilang lahat. At hayan niyo God na katulad ni Abraham. Lord, help us to grow deeper in our faith in you. Help us to know you more in a deeper and in a biblical way. Lord, help us to share the salvation we receive from you. Hayaan niyo, O God, na maraming tayo maborn again. Dahil ikaw nagsabi, maliban ang tayo ipanganak na muli. For unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord. Bless your people today. As I declare, let there be increase of faith Increase of prosperity, increase of divine health, and but even healing manifest upon each one of us in Jesus' name. Mabubuhay kami ng punong-puno ng tagumpay. Salamat po, Panginoon, at lahat ng anak mo na narito, walang maghihirap. I declare that in the lives of these people now. In Jesus' name, I declare. Everybody say, Amen and Amen. And amen.